Thank you, uh, Chief of Protocol, for the clarifications and the communication to uh, the floor. Excellencies, uh, heads of state and government, uh, Excellency Musa Faki Mahmoud, Chairperson of the African Union Commission, Excellencies, former heads of state, distinguished uh, heads of delegation, leaders, uh, business leaders, commissioners, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a, a memorable day for the people of Africa. <clears throat> Allow me once again to commend everyone involved in bringing us to this stage. The private sector is a pillar of a strong and prosperous Africa. I thank business leaders for their active participation in this summit. This is a very welcome development which should continue as a lasting uh, partnership. The task now is to ratify the African Continental Free Trade Area and the Protocol on the Free Movement of Persons so that they may come into force as soon as possible. It is well understood that some member states require additional time for internal procedures and consultations. The African Union and all of us are going to be called upon to deliver as never before. Indeed, the need to efficiently and effectively manage major programs such as this is the reason why we are prioritizing the institutional and financial reform of our organization. I therefore request that we continue to give the reform process the full attention it deserves. Today's milestone is an indication of how much is possible when we work together. Let's use the momentum we have gained to push forward with the Agenda 2063 flagship projects that we have committed ourselves to in the first 10-year implementation plan. Finally, in order to fully realize the benefits of continental free trade, I would like to underscore the necessity of ensuring that women and young people have their full and rightful place. I wish you all a safe journey home and thank you very much for your kind attention. But before I close completely, let me turn once again to thanking our CFTA champion, Mamadou Isouf, the president of Niger, who has ably <laughs> led us through this process. I now have the honor 
to declare the extraordinary session of the assembly closed and invite us all to rise for the African Union Anthem. <laughs>